Hello, my name's Sue Prince. I'm a contemporary folk artist. That means that I'm a modern folk artist. I'm living in the Peak District National Park at Islam on my organic farm with my family. Hello. So this is my studio. Can you see my studio? It's a bit messy, uh, but I work in here. There we go. Um, and I work a lot on this table here, but I also have an easel for other things. Anyway, in 2004, ages ago, I visited a small place in Sweden and discovered folk art that had been done in the 1700s and 1800s. Now, nobody did this type of art anymore, uh, but there was a museum and it's probably backwards, but there was a museum. This is the sort of art I saw in this museum. Um, inside the museum, that's a picture inside the museum. So you can see how big the paintings are on the wall. Lots of them were of uh, Bible stories, um, but they were shown through the place and the food and the transport of the people who painted them. I fell in love with these paintings and wanted to learn how to do it but there was nobody left who could teach me anymore because nobody did it anymore. Anyway when I came home from Sweden to England I experimented and I taught myself how to do it. I knew that it was done in something called egg tempera and that's paint that I can make myself with pigments which are like powdered rocks and minerals and egg yolk. Now egg yolk is a bit like glue and that sticks all the powdered pigment together and you can paint with it. It's amazing. So I worked out how to do it and I took my stuff back to Sweden and the Swedish people said oh can you teach us? So for 11 years I taught every summer in Sweden. So mostly I tell stories about people and places in my paintings and when the lockdown started I immediately wanted to do a painting every day to tell the story of lockdown at our farm. I had these small sketchbooks already, they're made of caddy paper. It's paper, handmade paper from the caddy mill in South India it's made from recycled cotton rag and I've got these little books so I thought they were perfect for me to tell, do a painting every day and tell a story. They're about 15 centimetres square. Do you know, you could make a lockdown diary as well. Tell everybody what your life was like and the things that you remember. So I kind of showed, did pictures of um, the stuff that I would see every day. Me looking for food in the cupboard, going for a walk on the uh, roads, the empty roads around us. There's chicken Sarah delivering chickens for us. And there's me cutting my husband's hair out in the yard with clippers. So all I was doing each day was kind of drawing a picture of the things that I found strange. It's so easy for us to get used to our new way of life and forget to find things new or different. Um, I wanted to remember the strangeness of our new life in lockdown. So every day I write a note in this book about um, the sort of things that I find really strange. Uh, and then those are what I use to give me ideas for my paintings. So here's my painting and I'm ready to paint. This is the sketch I did of it. It's the swallows coming home. There's me and the swallows. And here I go. That's the pastel that I used to draw it with. And I always first of all do a red line around the edge like the old guys did in Sweden. I'm starting off with red ochre. I do a line all the way around the edge and I hold my brush very upright.
the paints I've got are dark brown, red ochre, yellow ochre, titanium white, indigo blue and another brown. They're the pigments that are mixed with the egg yolk. So the first thing I do is, like the old guys in Sweden, I outline the things that I want to show up. I outline them and then I colour them in. Easy. I'm doing the swallows here. I don't paint this fast, this is speeded up. use a very fine brush. So what I'm doing at the moment is kind of filling in the background a bit which is like a bird's eye view of our farm, Beechin Hill Farm. Um, and I'm not going to outline those bits because I want them to fade into the background a bit. So it's about sort of... Um, using stony colours and so I'm mixing the colours on the palette um, with a lot of water to make them very faded colours and a lot of egg because egg makes the colours a bit transparent. It's a wonderful uh, aspect of this type of paint. It, the more egg and water you add, the more glaze-like the paint becomes. So it's like a glaze. So it barely shows. That's it, that's the colour I want. So now I can add some, I've put some egg in there so that I can always just easily add it. That makes the paint much thinner, like a glaze. And then I can just pop that on there because we've got a lot of ivy on the front of our house. I'm going to do my swallows now and I use pictures to help me because I can't remember in my head what everything looks like. So I've got my iPad here and I've looked for swallows and I've got some good pictures that look just like the swallows that we have here. So I'm going to copy those. So you can always look in magazines or in um, books to find pictures of the things that you want to paint. little black beaks so this is my indigo paint and it kind of looks blacky grey doesn't it so the next thing I'm going to do is the writing and with each picture it's kind of I come up with the sort of the idea and the writing first. So the writing for this picture is going to be, the swallows are back, only they can fly freely. Because we're all in lockdown and we can't go anywhere. So it gives me joy to see that the swallows can still fly freely. 
And the writing I do with paintbrush, I don't mark it out first or anything, but I just have guidelines so that they're all, all the letters are the same size. And I do a dot. I love that we get the same swallows back each year, year after year after year. And to think they've been to Africa or somewhere, it's amazing. The swallows are... For the end of a sentence, I do two dots. Then I sign my work and put the month and I also because I've done lots of these paintings I put an, the number of the painting that it is at the top and so that was yesterday's painting that's 47 so this will be 48 have I 48 and then I sign it down here my name very small Sue Prince dot uh, May. I don't know what day it is. May two thousand and twenty. And that helps to keep the record. And for me that's what it's all about. Now the the next thing I'm going to do is rub out the pastel that I can see. So I've got this is a sort of uh, pencil rubber and then I've also got this rubber they quite get quite dirty so I have to make sure everything's dry before I can rub out properly and then the last thing I'm going to do is something that I really like on the Swedish things they have these sort of swags of color in the paintings that they do and I really like those they bring a sort of joyousness to it somehow. And I think that's finished. Okay, so um, what do you think? That's going to be my painting for tomorrow um, to post on my Instagram and Facebook page and to put on my website. Um, and so thank you on Begin School for suggesting that I come and visit you and I hope you enjoyed the video visit. And, you know, when we're all allowed to get together again, I'll come and see you in Biggin School too. Okay, thank you very much.